Hey everybody, it's Jamie from Schedulicity. The appointment calendar is where most of our businesses spend most of their time. It's the bread and butter, the main event, the whole point of the system. Most businesses change their default page to the appointment calendar. Otherwise, it's easy enough to get here by hitting appointments in the main menu or the calendar icon on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's take a look at navigating the calendar. First off, we have a daily and weekly view. You can get to the daily view by clicking on the day or date along the top of the calendar column. The daily view will show providers' schedules for the specific day side by side, and you can view up to seven providers' schedules at one time. Similarly, you can get to the weekly view from the daily view by clicking on a provider's name along the top of the calendar. The weekly view will show the full week schedule for just one provider at a time. You can change up which provider's schedule you're viewing by clicking on their name at the top left corner of the screen, and this will open up a drop-down menu of all providers. In both appointment calendar views, you can change the date by selecting from the small calendar at the top right of the page or by using the arrows along the top of the calendar. You'll also notice when you first navigate to the calendar, it will default to the current time of day. There are a few default colors on the appointment calendar to help you visually manage your schedule. Unavailable times will be shaded out in gray, whereas available times will appear as white. Client appointments will default to blue during the booking process, but you also have the option of changing the default color under settings of that service if you wish. You can always tweak the color of an appointment on a case-by-case -case basis when you create the appointment. Personal time will display as stripes with the color of your choice so you can easily view the times you marked as busy. There are several different symbols that could appear on an appointment. If you hold your cursor over any icon, it will display what the icon represents. Appointment icons will display for things such as new clients, client or appointment notes, and no-shows. You will also notice that if you hover your mouse over any appointment, you will see the appointment details, the client's name, phone number, service, and time. The appointment clipboard on the right-hand side of the screen is a great tool for rescheduling different appointments and personal times within the Schedule C calendar. To use, simply click on the appointment or block of personal time you wish to reschedule. Drag it over to the clipboard and drop it there. Next, navigate to the new date and time or the new provider's calendar that you wish to move the appointment to. Grab the appointment from the clipboard and then drag and drop it to the desired date and time. You have the option of creating appointments right from the calendar. Click on the date and time, and then the new appointment screen will pop open, and you can either enter in a new client or choose an existing client for the appointment. Next, choose a service. You can also add appointment notes, as well as any add-ons or special offers that you have going. Keep in mind, if the client and service provider have an email address on file, you can decide if you want them to receive a notification of the appointment you are booking. Just make sure the toggles are set to yes. Select book it to create the appointment. Once you've added the appointment, you can edit or cancel at any time. You also have the option of adding personal time right from the calendar. Personal time is great for adding time for a meeting coming up that you don't want clients to schedule during, or if you have a regular lunch break that you wanna make sure you keep free. From the appointment calendar, click directly into the date and time that you want to create this block of time. Click on the personal time button at the top right of the page. Then specify how long of a break you need and you can add a description too that will show right on the calendar. You'll notice that you can also make this break recurring if you need to. If you'd like to choose a color for the personal time block on the calendar, select one and click add. If you would like to update your availability, you'll find a gear icon at the top right corner of the calendar. This is what you can use to edit your schedule on the fly or adjust one day in particular. Click on this icon to adjust the start or end time of your days or even mark them as out completely. Of course, you can always open a day you don't normally work. Hitting save will immediately adjust your schedule for only those days you have edited. Thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at